right guys i got a pretty incredible deal on this 8.8 .8 housing the other day um i think the guy had uh blown out the spider gears um obviously you know it came out of a fox it had the drum rear ends there's the drums right there that i removed and there's the axles i think he was running some sn95 axles um but since i have this thing apart what I want to do is go over with you guys a very invaluable Fox body tool that I believe every Fox body uh, wrench turner should have uh, in their arsenal. The Maximum Motorsports 8.8 .8 housing upper control arm bushing removal tool. I've already got one out here. Uh, it just tapped out, luckily. This one right here looks like it hasn't been messed with from the previous owner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this tool and go over some of the various pieces this kit will come with all these four pieces right here and each one of them has a specific use and um, time when they're needed to be used for whatever you're going to do now this will both remove the bushings and also install new ones um, once again i highly recommend this tool uh, especially if you guys are running stock rubber ear bushings you can see what happens over time and you can imagine if this is in the car already and you have to swap these out it is no fun at all now that's where this tool comes in handy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to first remove these bushings and then i'm going to show you a simulated install using the same kit so just to go over it's got a bolt it's got a stack of washers i think they give you like six washers it's give you know it gives you a nut this collar, the shorter collar, and two discs. So let me go ahead and set this up for removal. And that way you can see exactly how this comes apart. So to set this up for removal, what you wanna do is take this cup right here and put it on the outside of this flange. So it's just gonna cup over this way. And you're gonna have a small disc. This disc is gonna go on the opposite end of the bushing. And you can tell you have the right piece, obviously, because it's smaller, but that's kind of common sense. But the outer diameter and radius of this disc perfectly matches with a little bit of clearance this part of the bushing that slides into the ear. So what you're going to want to do is sandwich these two together with the long bolt and some nuts, or the nut actually, and several washers. So we'll, let's go ahead and stack these up and we'll see how it's supposed to look. And what I do guys is I kind of put just enough washers to build it up high with the nut so it's flush with the bottom of the bolt and that way it just gives you maximum removal capabilities without having to stop and reposition the bolt so there you go so now it's set up to remove so now what we're going to do is to hold this end with a wrench and then take an impact with my good old milwaukee and we're going to turn this side of the bolt and what's going to happen is it's going to draw this bushing out so what you want to do is set your impact into tighten mode and start creeping up on it And since I ran out of thread, I'm going to have to reposition the bolt. So I'm just going to back this out, stack some washers up under this nut so it gives me more room to pull out. And this thing should fall out here pretty soon. All right, now it's repositioned. Let's start over. And there it is, it's out. 
Let me back it off. And there it is, guys. That is the removal process of how this works. Once again, I, I don't know if I would be able to live life properly without having this tool. But there you go. Simple. Everything's easy when you have the right tool. That's what my dad always used to say. So that's the removal process. Now let me show you a mock-up if we were going to reinstall this, how we would do it. So if you wanted to reinstall this bushing to go in, what you would want to do is take your bigger disc, line it up on the outside like this, and get it started. And then you want to take this smaller cup, which has a bevel on it, and this bevel is designed for the contours of the housing right here and on the opposite side too. So you would just get this started spin this on and actually you know I didn't mention but this inner bore right here is meant to receive if you can see that is meant to receive the outside of the bushing once it presses through but all this does is guide the center pin center bolt as it goes through so what you would do is now stack your washers and nut put this in the Titan mode and what this will do is draw the bushing in and that's all there is to it guys if you don't have one of these, definitely get you one. Uh, it's almost, uh, you know, the cost of not getting this far outweighs the cost of getting it. So that's my take on it. But uh, just wanted to give you guys some insight on a critical tool that we use in the Fox Body community. Thanks for watching.